Hey everyone, what is going on? Today I'm going to show you how you can add the simple 3D widget of the items inside our inventory. As always, here's the preview. As you can see, when I click on the item, I get a small preview of the mesh. In this video, we will only add the 3D widget and the logic for it. In the next one, we will add a zooming and rotation to this widget. First, let's start with creating the actor that spawns our item and also records that item. Call that class BC or A underscore recording and open it. BC stands for blueprint class and A for actor. Create a scene and pull it over the default scene to get rid of that icon here in the preview. Then add a scene capture component to the and a static mesh to this. Search in the details for tick even when paused and check it for all the actors we just created. This will allow the item to be recorded even though we are in game pause menu. After that, let's create the texture target. Back to the content drawer, right click and go to texture and pick the canvas render target. Call it the CRT recording. Open this up and inside here change the size to 1024. Back to the BC underscore recording, pick that new created uh, CRT. Next, we need a structure to hold our settings for the recording. We need that for mouse controls later inside the widget. Call it something like S underscore recording settings. Add a mesh as the type static mesh to it. Then add camera position as a vector max and min position as float. And actually you don't need the height offset. I added it here, but it's not used, so ignore that. Back into our recording, create a function update static mesh. Add a branch to it and then add the S recording as an input and break it. Pull in the static mesh and uh, add the set a static mesh method. Then pull from the mesh and check for a not equal null. And if that's true, then we set the new mesh. Pull in the scene capture component and set the relative location from our recording settings. Create a new function update max position and as the input we get the min and max position and then we store them into variables here in this class. And rename it to update position. Pull it in and connect the variables. Create the variables so we can set them in the update position. Oh, and I forgot to move the scene capture component. So go to the viewport and move the camera to the left so we can actually record something. Finally, set the variables. And last but not least, here create the reset mesh function, add the static mesh, and from that get the set a static mesh so we can actually uh, reset the mesh. Go to your AC inventory. And in the event graph, create the event begin play function. From that, we want to get the spawn actor a node and we select the BC recording. So every time we have an AC inventory, we also have a recording actor for it. From the span transform, get the node make transform. And for the location X, take something very large, like 10 million, so it uh, gets spawned out of your world. 
then promote the return value to a variable called recording ref so we have always access to it. Next, go back to your inventory, right click on the CRT and create a material from it. Call it m underscore material and open it up. Click on the texture and change the material domain to user interface and then change the blend mode to translucent. Plug it in and then from the alpha get the one minus. So we invert the opaque alpha channel and connect it to the opacity pin. Then after that create the widget that will use this material. Name it something like wb underscore recording. Open it and add an image to it. As the material here, search for the recording. After that, go back to the inventory, copy and paste the vertical box and move it into the middle by changing the min and max values here. Make sure to have a proper scaling. I changed mine so it almost hits the border of the other widgets. Remove the copied item container and add the WB recording to the vertical box. After this, we can go to the event graph and search for the event construct. Here we want to get the spawned recording actor, so we have always access to controlling the spawned item. This will be very useful in the next video, where we add zooming and rotation to the item widget. Pull in the WB recording and go there to create a variable from type BC recording. Then go back to the inventory and parse the bc underscore recording ref to the recording widget. Search for the event slot clicked and here we want to add the reset mesh. So pull in the wb recording, the recording ref and from that get the reset mesh. And plug it after the event slot clicked. Copy and paste it and then we want to reset the mesh every time we drop an item. Otherwise we will still see the item even if it's not in the inventory anymore. Add the reset mesh after the remove child. After we've done that, we need a new function called update recording item. This function will be called after we clicked on an item slot. In that function, add the last clicked slot and get the item data from it. Break it and pull the WB recording into the function. Get the recording ref and the update static mesh function. Next, for this data, we need to add the recording settings to the item data so we can exit it from here. Go to your as item data and change it. After you've done this, check all functions that use it, like in my example, the getItemData function here in the master item class. We want to add the recording settings and pass them out by checking instance editable and expose on spawn.
Now we can see the recording settings in the default settings of all the child classes. I will add some default values here, but you need to customize them according to the specific item size you have. The min and max value are also important, but we will use them in the next video and not in this. For the item to spawn, we need to add the item mesh inside the child items. File and save and then go to WB inventory again and connect the new parameter to the new mesh bin. Now we can test the widget, pick the item up, you update it and see if it works. For me it works, but we have to adjust a little bit because we don't have the zooming just yet to see the item. First, let's bring the item near to the camera by changing the value to minus 40. Then let's also test some other items, add the mesh to them too. Go to the WB inventory and change the aspect ratio of the widget. For that, click on the anchor and pick the middle, zero everything up and set the size to 500. Then on the alignment, pick 0.5 to center it. Test the new images and it should look much better. And that's it for this video. In the next one we will add zooming and rotation to this widget. So stay tuned for that. Have a nice day and bye.